It's February. The groundhog didn't see his shadow. Usher showed up and showed out at the Super Bowl. And hopefully you celebrated Valentine's Day with those who fill you up with love. But you know what else we're celebrating? Black History Month. And with Audible, you can listen Black 365. Audible has an expansive collection of audiobook titles from Black creators like On the Line with Damon John, The Starter X by Mia Sosa, and Shadow Ball, Rise of the Black Athlete, narrated by friend of the Black Love family, Jamel Hill. And honestly, the list seems endless. When you explore Audible's catalog, you'll discover a huge collection of authors and creators across every imaginable genre, which will inspire you and give you fresh perspectives on the Black experience. To start listening, go to audible.com slash BHM24 and join Black Love and Audible in celebrating Black voices this month and yes, all year long. What's up, y'all? It's Ashley. I'm Fee. It's Melody. And Cody here. And you've tapped into The, the Mama's, Mama's Den. Den. We're all mamas, and we've got 11 kids between the four of us. And let's just say we are tired. <laughs> but we're also friends who are going through this journey of motherhood together. Each week, we are giving you some laughs, maybe some tears, sharing our personal stories, and of course, giving advice. What we hope is helpful. This is the show we wish we had before becoming mamas. So grandmas, aunties, sisters, uncles, daddies, brothers, everybody who's in the village of raising children, we got you. Shall we get into it, ladies? Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Welcome back, mamas. It's 2024. Woo-hoo. Yay. Wow. Are you here? 2024. It doesn't even feel real. I would what, say what like part how, doesn't feel real? Yeah, what? Sitting here together. I know. On our new set, actually recording. Like, this feels weird. I know. It a feels little, weird? A little bit. Like, not bad, but it just feels weird. Like, it's all new, and it feels new, and it's weird. I really like it. Yeah. It's a new I'm year. So happy. It's a new set. <laughs> it yes. yeah. It's a new you. I want to yes. be like, how's everyone been? Because we haven't recorded in a while. But we talk every day, and we I love this for us. We do. But, we've been, we've been but anticipating our, our people don't know. Our oh, listeners okay. have been, they've been in my DMs, like, pressing. <laughs> They're like, I don't know what to do without you guys. So we definitely have to give them a... Yeah, Is that update. how it sounds when you read it? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> frantic. <laughs> All right. So what has been going on? You go first. Girl, I don't know. You know what's the first thing that came to my mind was? Us celebrating your birthday. Oh, hmm. yeah. That was fun. For everyone that doesn't know, they surprised me with a surprise slumber party. My best friend flew in. Nalo. We had matching pajamas. We went to breakfast. We walked on the beach. It was amazing. We watched a sad movie. Don't Wait, know why. We, we watched feet. The Best Man we Holiday. <laughs> I was he was living Utah, her best y'all. life in the in where? Utah. I was sliding down sliding here. Utah <laughs> with my children. That's beautiful, though. I, I definitely miss Fee, but I'm glad that you had that experience with your children but it was it was great i feel really blessed and happy wait you know what we did all do together can we say what melanie oh, oh yes. yes oh y'all oh, forgot gosh. that was all girl that was 2023 i forgot it all was, that. but we haven't recorded we haven't so we also had a very special gathering in my house um, Jared and I did a vow renewal and Woo-hoo. literally pulled this thing together when I tell you in a, a, a 2.5 seconds and my mama's Dan friends were there. Yes. It was perfect. It was they beautiful. Really were, you guys were there and it really meant a lot. It really, really meant a lot because it wasn't intended to be a big thing. I didn't have many friends there. Like I, family, it was really just family and y'all showed up for me and it was very, very special and I can't wait to show you guys the picture. I mean, we've been waiting, girl. I know, girl. I know. Girl, let Not me tell only you. were we waiting, Ashley was instructing the photographer what to do. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a Capricorn. <laughs> I was Capricorning. <laughs> but no, it w- I do want to say that you look so beautiful. Mm-hmm. I cried. Mm-hmm. And one takeaway that Chia and I had was like, wow, uh, like Melanie and Jared are so blessed to have the family that they have. Both of you have all, both of your mm. parents. They were both there. And just seeing you two with both of your parents, like dancing and just having that intimate, beautiful moment. Like I was like, that is really to me, like what it means to be blessed in life. Mm-hmm. To and be able both of your have parents that. have been married like 30 yes. plus years, 40 they, years. 40, 47 years. My parents and Jared's parents, I think are 46 years, um, which is like really amazing. But you did, you both, Fee and, and Ashley said that. They were like, we just feel so blessed because we don't have that necessarily in our family yeah. dynamics with Word. our with our partners and the way that we are. So it's like, I was like, well, y'all are a part of my family, so y'all always going to have it. I know. But, you know, but it really was. And that was really one of the reasons why we did it. Like, I think even when we first got married in 2020, it was like, get it done. Let's just do it. Don't ask any questions. And then this was the same energy 
my parents, his parents, everybody's getting older. Yeah. Life is just, time is not stopping, mm -hmm. you know? And mm -hmm. I felt like, why not? Like, let's just do it. Let's just make it happen. And we pulled it together. And it was literally the per the perfect day. It was so it fun. Was. It was so it was perfect. So like, fun. everything worked out. They were calling for rain. It didn't rain. It was overcast, which was perfect for the mm -hmm. pictures. Mm -hmm. Everybody came. We just had this, like, unlimited pizza thing, wine, like, music. Yeah. Just, I mean, it was... The drinks. The drinks. The bar was the drinks bar. was drunk. Yes. Get drunk. The when drinks I were getting drunk. Wait, <laughs> Melanie, y'all, her family loves to dance. Girls. I'm like, everybody yep. Now you don't dancing. make sense. Yes, it it makes complete... It was such a reflection of who you are. Yep. I think that was the most beautiful part to witness was like, Look at my friend and yeah. like all her people. Yep. Where she comes from. It was mom. Yeah. 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 Oh, you and your dad dancing. When he came out on, I was like. Dad. <laughs> my dad, my dad. That was a really big moment for my dad to walk me down the aisle. And like, I've never really, I think, traditionally been like, oh, it's just like a thing. But my dad and I are very close. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad is just. He's just so special. It's just like very important for him to walk me down the aisle right now. Like it was just very, very important. Yeah. So yeah. So I. I and, and your DJ, DJ Cami Cam. DJ Cami Cam. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, shout out to DJ Reg West, who is one of Jared's <laughs> oldest friends. Who literally, Jared was like, "Hey, me and Mel are gonna do this thing in the backyard. Like, if you can make it, we would love for you to come." DJ Reg West was like with less than a week's notice says, I'll be there. Aww. And not only will I be there, I will bring the DJ equipment that I need mm -hmm. and I'm going to DJ for y'all just like on GP just because Love. I want to be there. Aww. He came in the morning and just kept the the vibes Aww. going the whole day and then had Cam on the mic and just, it was great. And I think that that's also the other thing too. This was really special because my children were able to yeah. be there. Yeah. You know, and like in typical fashion, <laughs> your children ain't supposed to be at your wedding. Bump that. Who's like, that man? right, what? right. The, the, that? the elders. Around these the, 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 the elders, you know, but, <laughs> but, I th but I think, no, but you know, like once upon a time, it was like, yeah. right? But I'm like, none of that really matters. Like, my yeah, children no. are a part of our story. Yeah. And I was so happy that even for them, they get to remember that. Yeah, for sure. Like, they'll yeah. remember that. And then, you know, Kaya definitely. <laughs> What was she Girl, yelling? She is so funny. She, was it Elmo? She, yes, yeah, Elmo. Elmo! Elmo! Where Elmo! Elmo. During, the, during, what you during the vows, just talking about Elmo. Um, the two-year-olds really know how to ruin a moment. And then, she, and then she went to sleep for like basically the whole like yes. celebration mm -hmm. after, the, after the ceremony. And then she woke up just in time so we could get a family portrait. Girl, the way we I told her photographer. And so actually, <laughs> she <laughs> said, go put that baby back in that dress. I said, I know that's right. She I said, she's going to be mad when she'll get these pictures. Yes, I said, go get that baby dress and go take the pictures with the whole family right yes, now. <laughs> and we got it. Yes. And we got it. So yeah, we had a lot of exciting stuff. I would also like to say this 2024 also started out very ghetto for me. Yeah, um, we got sick. I mm -hmm. got COVID. The baby mm -hmm. got COVID. And we were just down bad. And then it was just like, I feel like, one thing after another, just like our dog, something happened to our dog. January 47th mm -hmm. couldn't have come sooner <laughs> when oh I tell gosh. you. And then, you know, like, and then the February started and then February feels like it's just going so fast. Yeah, mm -hmm. girl. But I really do feel like everybody kind of energetically in 2024 was off to a slow start. I yes. It felt very, like, I feel like everybody. this keeps happening. It does. January is um, <clears throat> it's a rough month. It's it these last few years. It has been. But you know what? I have a really optimistic feeling about 2024. Okay. Me too. I do. Like, you know when people are really like, it's going to be the best year ever. And you know it's about to be trash because you didn't set yourself up for it to be successful. Mm, yeah. I really do feel like 2024 is good. Like, it's going to be a good year. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just have like an instinct about it. Yeah. yeah. And so I feel optimistic about it. So even when I was going through some of the hardest moments of the beginning of the year, emotionally, physically, energetically, mm -hmm. whatever it was, I just literally was telling myself, all right, one day at a time, one day at a time, like slow to start, mm -hmm. you'll get there. Oh like goodness. it's a marathon, keep going. And so, you know, now February's here, and we're just rolling in, and I feel energized again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm I feel, happy to be I feel here. energized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What okay. about you, Cody? What you do? What, what you? Me? I mean, I was just Snoo kicking it with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> look, I, as soon as Melanie said that, it reminded me because I try to forget. I, me and three, two of my children had COVID just last week. Yeah, fun times. And it was, it was awful. Like we didn't have symptoms, but like the amount of things that we missed and the amount of like trying to be yeah. successful at home with mm. my children also there, 
then trying to keep them away from each other because initially it was just two of us and then Langston tests positive positive on the fifth day of me and Aristotle and Brooke stayed negative and it was like Lord we can't we can't do this yeah um so that you know that PTSD just kind of came up in me right now (laughs) um you know outside of that same like it's just been trying to spend time with y'all and try to get through these work days. So um, just a quick update on 2024. So I am working on being that much more transparent because my friend over here to the left of me, actually, <laughs> she's like, you're just hard to read. I can't figure it out. <laughs> so um, I started 2024 single, mm. saying update, this update. out loud, mm-hmm. but we are happy and we are okay. okay. And we are choosing thyself. Okay. So mm-hmm. you're definitely going to hear a lot of that energy. Um, I've been spending more time with God, which mm-hmm. you guys all know. Um, my daughter got baptized. So we're Aww. excited about that. So it's Daddy just like, scary. yeah, it's just like family, love, energy, choosing yourself. And that's that. So I okay. love it. Now into these sweaters. Wait, yeah. I just want to. I just <laughs> want to say one thing quick. That's I know, all I I know we get wrapped up, questions. but we haven't spoken like this on air in a minute. Before we get into these things, and I, we said this the last time we were together, and I just wanted to say like this season of life is really beautiful on you. Yes. Too. Because we've journeyed through a lot of seasons yeah. and you are just really in like this very peaceful, joyful. Every time we see you, your energy is light. Yep. You feel wonderful. That's and like, yeah, you're yeah. wearing it. So I'm like, I feel I'm that in my you. soul. I feel like I feel very optimistic about 2024 yeah. as well. I was like, it just feels different. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. not to different. piggyback off of her, but I was going to say <laughs> that when you were saying that you had you felt like this year was going to be a good year. I specifically feel that for you. Like you are putting out a lot of positive, loving, healing energy. And Mm -hmm. it makes me feel like I can see like blessings coming your way. Mm -hmm. Like just the energy that you're putting out there and focusing on your, your faith and yourself. Like I just love seeing you like this V. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. You're welcome, baby girl. (laughs) I love y'all. Okay. I love y'all. Okay. About the sweaters, though? About the yes. sweaters. Okay, so this was our Christmas present because we all love to just um, talk about our zodiac signs all the time. Full mm-hmm. transparency. The three of you do. I just participate, but carry on. <laughs> I love you. I don't oh, hate. Hey, it's a Scorpio. You know, I don't hate. You know what? You know what you're right. It's actually kind of true. Right. I think I, I y'all think I never noticed that? that? Mm-hmm. I don't think I noticed I don't know until right now. shit about an astrological sign, but what y'all tell me. <laughs> oh, okay. you're, you're right. Yeah. Oh, my you God. Are not y'all, a, y'all are just realizing this? Because I think we just talk about it so much and then tell you. I clump her together. Yeah. you be like, Scorpio. Yeah. Well, you really I speak like a cool away. story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what. Well, y'all just so you know, about. you're a Scorpio. You're a Cancer rising. I already did Thanks. your chart. See, I love it when you guys inform me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We got. Oh, you. she's definitely a Cancer rising. Mm-hmm. Lord, what's her moon? Don't, don't you know? even? I don't remember. Don't you moon. even? All of that said, Felicia bought us these beautiful sweatshirts, <laughs> and which she brought to my ceremony and gave to all of us, which was like. The best. Yeah, I had to get yes, these Christmas presents. We I see love these. I was like, they're just, they're just oh so comfortable. God. And everybody's zodiac sign. As soon as I saw them, I was like, nah, I got to get these for the girls. What, what Ashley? They're What's wrong with your spark? I spilled something on it. <laughs> Didn't really. <laughs> You know I feel what? like you spill stuff on your stuff a lot. I do. I do too. And I do. For our, and I do. For our video I'm audience, ch- they I'm will a- get to see your spill. It's okay. It's Zoom right, in on the spill. It's right by my nip. I'm milking okay, my Okay, guys, we have a numerologist today. Oh, yeah. What? Like, we have a like a Zoom guest. This is very new for us. Yes, it is. It is everything new. Very okay. new. new. New, Trying new. new things. I'm always learning from you guys about my sign and my rising and my moon and, mm-hmm. and things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now, hopefully, y'all might learn something from somebody. I'm so I'm excited. excited. I'm a whole I'm expert. I'm excited. A brother named Lloyd, okay? Oh, a brother named brother Lloyd. Named Lloyd. Okay, so before Lloyd. we get to Lloyd, because, you know, you know, I'm the newbie. Uh, here are little facts that I read from Allure.com about astrology, okay, okay? and okay. numerology. Well, I'm so they complement one another. All right, I'm gonna read straight up. <laughs> numerology enhances your understanding of self by revealing not just how you express yourself, but where you output your inherent energy. For instance, numerology reveals the age of your soul. Would you Ooh. would you pseudo experts agree? Shoot. Yes. yes. Okay. We okay. believe in numerology, girl. Absolutely. I like it. I like oh it. I'm 777 years old. Then. Girl, I believe that. Five. <laughs> <laughs> numerology is also a great tool for making sense of recurring digits. Huh. Mm, With numerology, you can use specific pieces of information such as home address to derive details. Mm-hmm. Yes, girl. Yes. Well, what if I'm Wait, renovating? The, the fa- what if I'm renovating my house and I mm-hmm. live somewhere else? What happened? Which home address are we talking? They, it depends on where you're it at. It depends. Yeah. Oh. You can like add numbers together. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Loie got you. Loie right. got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if there are numbers that keep coming in your up in your life, like for example, Beyonce identifies the number four a lot, which mm-hmm. I love. I'm a four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you are. Mm-hmm. So let's get into it. We have Lloyd Strayhorn. 
numerologist yes, that's correct. and astrologist from Harlem. 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 Hi, Lloyd. Thank you Thank for joining you. us. Thank you. Tell us Thank a little you. bit more about that, because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm a product of Harlem, born in Harlem. It's the capital of the epicenter of the Black uh, consciousness, things of that nature. Oh, that's right. But I happen to be what is called an astronumerologist, is one who studies the stars and on the other side study the numbers. Oftentimes, the question is, which came first, like the chicken and the egg theory? Well, numerology came first because in order to get your birthday done, ladies, you got to give them a set of numbers, the month, the day, and the year you're born, along with the time you're born. All of that's expressed in numbers, which means numbers had to precede the study of the stars um, before. But astrology is far more popular. This is why you can pick up any newspaper with the exception of the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times with a horoscope section in it so you can see your daily going on and stuff like that. And horoscopes are actually the most popular thing. In fact, I have a numerology app that you can download on your phones called A Star 8. A S T A R, the number 8. Okay, so if you got a Google, if you got an iPhone, you can download it, tell you your lucky numbers, and it tells you a whole lot more. But these are very, very ancient sciences that you best believe. They're, they're older than you can ever imagine. And so this is what I do, and I find it very entertaining. Plus, I have issues about being nosy or I would call it curious because every one of you are divinely special. And here's how I look at it. You ladies, everybody walking around, it, we know biologically it took millions and millions of sperm going after one egg. And when that one sperm met that one egg, you and I became a result of it. So you can't tell me, Lady Jola, not special. I don't care what nobody says. And so it's how we look at our half glass of black, half empty, half full. Mine is always full. That's why everybody I meet, I enjoy. Everybody is extremely extraordinary, extremely special. They just have to find a specialness within themselves. And that I cannot do. The beauty about numerology is this, unlike its cousin, astrology. Both astrology and numerology deals with your birthday, but numerology deals with your name. So as I explained to my clients, your birthday tells me the why you're here, but your name tells me the what you know. Mm. It denotes your natural talents and gifts and skills and abilities. It leads to our occupational clues and things of that nature. And it, calls, it tells me the possible clue to the parent or person who named you by way of the zodiac sign of birth number. And that's what makes it so fascinating. And in fact, I've wrote several books on this. In fact, this is one of my books right here. Oh, okay, right. Right. Numbers in you. Okay. But for you ladies, I think y'all will enjoy this. This is Lloyd's. A uh, book of numbers, a blueprint to a cosmic blueprint to happiness and joy. That's what I do. And uh, that's the difference. So the name tells a lot about you, what you bring to the table in the world. And, and by the way, your name is what draws you certain signs mm -hmm. because the name is like the teacher where the birthday is like the pupil. Oh. Mm. I'm Melanie. Okay. I'm born on the July 4th. You are a water sign with an air number. So being a water sign with an air number, so that means intuitions, feeling things very deeply, but yet using the powers of logic and deduction, but the ability to think outside the box. That's why you will have secret enemies, jealousy, mm. envy, insecurity. But that's because you're really a genius. You are so futuristic, you're kind of ahead of everybody. So you'll say something mm. now, and then the group of ladies in the room will begin to catch up with you later mm. on and say, oh, now I see what you're talking mm. about. So far, you're the only one out of the four so far that have four numbers, where 95% of the people only have three numbers. And your numbers are the four, one, two, and seven in that order. Those are, four, those are all one, my favorite numbers. Two, and seven. Oh, wow. And you always will attract art and unusual relationships, too, where people will question, <laughs> you know, how did y'all hook up or what's that about? <laughs> 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 and you're very sensitive. And I will say this. You will forgive somebody, but you ain't going to forget it. We ain't never forget it. Never. You ain't going to forget it. So I wouldn't mess with you. I wouldn't mess with you. I'd, I'd be at peace. You know what I'm <laughs> this is true. We, Thank we you. Don't now, uh, okay. Um, Cody. All right. Cody? Yes, sir. Next. All right. October 31st. October 31st. Isn't that interesting? You two have fours as a common denominator. So you are a Scorpio, but you are a Scorpio four person because you're born on the 31st of the month. Okay. Okay. So, but you know what okay. it tells me about your birthday, though? 
it tells me you were out on your own probably between your 19th and 22nd birthday, Cody. Somewhere hmm. either leaving for school, saying, think I got this, or whatever the case is. Very, very independent, mm -hmm. very self-reliant. Thought you might have grown up wanting to be a lawyer or a doctor or a scientist or go into your own world and things of that nature. But you are super, super sensitive. If people only knew that, this is why you and Mel uh, you, Melanie, are sitting right next to each other because she's born on the fourth, and you're born on the thirty first. And three plus one is four. Mm -hmm. So you too, my dear, like to think outside the box. Mm -hmm. You too will have secret enemies because of jealousy and envy enemies. and yeah, insecurity. So and it's always a question, as a puzzle, as to why when you're just trying to handle your business, okay? And you like Melanie. When somebody cross you, that's a wrap. So, um, you know, you that's, just don't forget. You'll forgive them. You go to family, you and say, hi, auntie. But you say, you know what, auntie? It was my brother that broke your vase, not me. Okay? <laughs> right. So you're not the one. Then there are months that are very important for you, too. So I will go from left to right. I'll start with Felicia born October 23rd. That means you're, and you're, you're blessed with six months. Your months are always in April, May, and June, September, October, November. Mm. Your mom, your dad, your children, your mate, your whatever the case is. But always when things happen, it's always around late March into April, May, and June. Then on the other side of the summer, it's late set August into September, October, and November. Now, in the case of um, Ashley, who is a Capricorn 9 person, her months are always in January. Uh, April and May, October and November. Those are normally the months. And when I say that, the months that y'all maybe got married, got engaged, got children, got found your job, got a car, whatever, these are months that are normally very important for you. So again, um, Ashley, it is the month of January followed by May and June, followed by October and November. And just before you hit those months. Now, in the case of Cody, her best months are always in the month of February, like right now, followed by uh, June, July, and August. Well, actually, I'm standing corrected because she is a Scorpio four person. So that means her best months are the months of February, April, August, and November. Okay. And just before you hit those months. So it's late January into February, late, May, late March into April, late July into August, and late October into the month of mm -hmm, November. Mm -hmm. And saving the best for last with um, Melanie, her numbers are, her best months are always in February, June, July, and August. Hey, I love the summer. You are a summer girl. Yeah, and this is when, and so when you look at the milestones in your life, married, children, job, career, car, house, whatever milestones that you will find that these months have been significant for you one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, when did you, you get married? And this is how, see, because if a person could be in the wrong place at the wrong time, why can't you be in the right place at the right time? You know what? Plan for it. <laughs> okay. Plan for it. Yeah. This is true. I believe in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And then it even yeah, affect your health too. So I'll start with Felicia on the left side. She's a five. Five rules the nervous system. This is mental irritability. That's why she don't like repeating herself too many times. She don't like people to slow down the bar and keep it moving. Okay some concerns with the hands, the arms, the shoulders. She has one of the best in advance warning systems because when people, when you're under a lot of pressure, um, Felicia, you'll find that all of a sudden you experience some twitching around some part of the face, particularly around the eyes or the mouth. That's your sign to tell you to slow it down. Hmm. All righty. Uh, other than that, the nervous system, the hands, the arms, the shoulders. With you, Ashley, you tend to be more accident prone than illness prone. Diseases don't like you. Injuries and accidents like you. Nick cutting some food in the kitchen, burn ironing, rushing to go somewhere, things like that, little fender bender, those kinds of things. And both you ladies, Cody and uh, Melanie, have one thing in common. It is your state of mind that affects what you do. Oof, you had oof. a bad or sudden breakup, y'all are going to the dumps. Ooh, Lost a sudden job. Send it, send it so so y'all got to be careful who y'all hang out with. And I'd not for you two, I'd tell you, don't watch too much television. Because yep. yep. it's like, who shot John? Who up, blew up the world? 
And by that time, y'all can get into a funk. I don't watch any of that. Mm. Yeah. Wait, can you and tell me? And doctors tend to misunderstand both of you. That's the one thing mm. you're both right. sharing common, doctors Cody and Melanie. Both of y'all go to the doctor. They can't quite figure out what's wrong with yeah. you because it's all in a state of mind. Lloyd, Melanie, I mean, Ashley has a question, too. Oh, I just wanted to tell... I wanted to know if you could tell me if I was a witch in my past life. Uh, oh, Lord. Are you? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time? <laughs> if I was a witch in my past life. Lloyd said, that's not my job. I don't know about past <laughs> lives, but I know this. Oh, I, I know this. Lives. You are a fire number, which means you're fiery, passionate, proactive, a lot of get up and go. And this will explain in relationships sometime why in the relationships, the partner will think you're being overly assertive or overly demanding. But you know what you want. You're going to speak on it. Mm -hmm. That's why I said, if you don't want the truth, don't go talk to Ashley. Ashley. (laughs) Okay. Well, Felicia, again, she is a Scorpio five person. So that means she's born on the 23rd of October. That makes her an air sign with a water number. Now, fives are normally a number that's described as multi-talented, multifaceted, multidimensional. This is why they don't have too much time to repeat themselves and you got to keep it moving Mm -hmm. with five, which is ruled by air and air is all over the place. I'd say the secret to holding on to Felicia more than anything is to give her some breathing space. Here's what's cute. We first start dating, right? We get up. I say, yo, boo, where you going? She said, oh, ain't that nice. I ask that every single day, every single week, every single month that drive her crazy. She said, honey, I'm going out to get some cigarettes and never come back. Okay. <laughs> not three cigarettes and never come back. <laughs> Wait, what are Felicia's numbers again? Her numbers again are the five, the nine, and the six in that order. And it's very important about the order. Let's say you're going to play the lottery. Well, mm-hmm. if uh, I'll put it this way. Let's I say I wanted to unlock the safe to Felicia's heart. Oh. I'd have to come to her lock and dial the not the five first the nine, then the six, and I could open and come in. Any other arrangement of those three numbers, the lock is closed. I'm telling all your passwords. So it's a matter of knowing (laughs) what your numbers are. Okay. Okay, So now with you, Ashley, you are a Capricorn nine person because you're born on the 27th of December. And you being, that means you would be an earth sign with a fire number. Earth represents people who are very pragmatic, very grounded, very down to earth, but the nine represents that passion, that get up and go, okay, honey, what are we going to do about this? All righty. And so, so you're in relationships. Your problem is you've never had a problem finding a male is finding a man. That's where your, your oh, issue comes Lord. from. I right. That's you how mean. you roll. Because when you step to the plate, they can't be bashful and shy and hemming and hawing. They gotta, they gotta meet you toe to toe. That's Not dope. that you are assertive like that, but you've always been a person that have played your ground, that stood your ground, that told it the way it was. Mm-hmm. And so this is why you're not too popular with the women so much as the men. You know, Moms maybe the famous comic, used to say, the only thing a woman can do for her is bring me a man, and that's oh. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like women better than men. Oh, man. Hilarious. Oh, wait, what were my numbers again? Your numbers in the following order are the nine, eight, and six. So if I wanted to unlock the safe to your heart, beautiful lady, I'd have to come to your safe and dial the number nine first, then the number eight, then the number six, then I could get in. But any other arrangement of those three numbers, I'll get a piece of money, but I won't get all of the money as if I played it straight <laughs> in the lottery. Mm, lottery. That's right. Do y'all remember your numbers? Yeah, I, I just remember, I think my, no. number, my numbers were four, two, one, and seven. You had four numbers. What were In Melody's that order, numbers? exactly. Yeah, four, no, no, it's four, one, two, and seven. Four, one, two, and seven. Four, okay. one, two, and seven. Got it. First. I was just going to listen back. But uh, Lloyd, what were my numbers? <laughs> Your numbers, Cody, are the four, one, and nine in that oh, order. Nine as well. Nine and nine. That's nine, why you eight. attract all the, Both of y'all, are, both you ladies, you, Cody, okay. and you, Melanie, have one thing in common. Y'all are always known to attract odd and unusual relationships. They're never normal. We have a lot of It's either like, you know. It's one thing, but it's like three things. Yeah, that y'all have in common. But the other thing that runs between all four of you, all four of you is, first of all, y'all will always attract younger men at the same time. I'm married to a younger man. You may say, well, Lloyd, I like a more mature guy, guy around my age. I've never attracted a younger But all of y'all do have that in common, that y'all tend to attract men younger. And that's the operative word, attract. That don't mean you have to Right, that don't mean you act like it. But you will attract younger men. 
which is a compliment to you ladies, to be actually honest. Aww. All right, Lloyd, I have a question before we get out of here. Lloyd, when is your birthday? What's your sign? February 16th. Oh, come on now, Aquarius. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here with us. Y'all know how to make Mama's- a man feel good. That was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that already, though. You knew that already. You did. You knew what you you knew the energy. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining us on the Mama's Den. And one more time, let the people know where they can find you. Well, they can go to Linktree forward slash numbers in you. They'll get my podcast, my audio books. They can download my mobile uh, app for the phone, a star eight. And uh, they can get my online courses. They can get me on TikTok. They can get me. Just go to Linktree forward slash numbers and you. Numbers and you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you, Lloyd. Lloyd. For everything. Thanks, Bye. ladies. Have a blessed day and birthday. Close, y'all are absolutely beautiful. It's Aww. like all four of you in the room. I wouldn't know which one to choose. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, not Felicia, because no. she ain't got time for it. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you guys feel about the reading that we had with Lloyd? I, you already know, I believe in numerology, astrology, all of the things. It was interesting for me because the numbers that he said, like repeating numbers in my family are nine, seven, three, six, three, six, seven, and nine. Like my address, my home that I lived in, my my kids' birthdays, my, my name, like, well, six, seven, nine, everything. Even the house, the reason why we picked the house that we live in now, like the address when we pulled up, me and my mom looked at each other like, oh, it's meant to be. Yeah. And there were literally no other bidders or anything oh, wow. on our house. Like this, I really, really, really believe in that. But do you all feel like connected to what he mm-hmm. told you or are you feel like, eh, I don't know. I definitely feel connected to what he told me. I, I didn't. OK, I meant to tell you guys this later on, but mm-hmm. I'm glad I saved it for the show. I got a reading <laughs> recently and um the woman she was telling me it was like an hour long reading but she was telling me specifically about numbers Mm -hmm. and a lot of times I wake up at 3 30 or 3 33 in the morning Mm -hmm. and when I wake up I just start praying like I'll just start Mm -hmm. talking Mm -hmm. and she randomly was like you wake up a lot at this time she knew the exact time stamp and she was like that's your great grandmother you're talking to your ancestors and I had no idea but I would just felt like I have to wake up and pray so then she started talking about career and she was like, I really think that you need to be on a podcast. Like, <laughs> literally, this woman doesn't know. Mm-hmm. She only knew my first name. So I think you should be on a podcast. She was like, um, and when you do do a podcast, it's going to be very successful. Like, that's where you're supposed to. That's the the lane that you're supposed to go down to. Wow. All this stuff. So I was like, the lady said it, y'all. So I guess it's real. <laughs> that's Not dope. you waking up at 3.30 and praying. I wake up at 3.30 mad. Yeah, girl. <laughs> and, then I'll, 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 oh my God. Yeah. and then I'll you fall back on your black knees and pray. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Not black knees. Your hair thing used to say that. Oh my god, my grandma used to say that all the time. That's like, like something your a grandmother would say. Pray. <laughs> yeah, it's that's not, well. My mom wanted to say black knees, but she was like, "That's when you're supposed to pray." So I just did it by Aww. habit. Black. Yeah, but I totally believe in numerology, a hundred thousand percent. Yeah. What about, what about you, Mel? No, I believe in it. I mean, all the numbers that he said are my numbers. Have literally, without even knowing. I've always chosen them. Like wow. sports, mm. number two has always been one of my favorite numbers. If it wasn't two, it was 22. If it wasn't two, it was four because it was an iteration of uh, yeah. Two, yeah. Two, like 11s, all of it. Like wow. one, oh. one, seven, I'm the seventh month. Like mm-hmm. I, all those numbers absolutely resonated with me. Mm-hmm. Wait, what about your kids' birthdays? Your birthday, Jared's birthday. What are those numbers? Uh, Jared is the 17th. Okay. Cameron is the 14th. Okay. So that's a one and eight, a four. And four. Yeah. There's a one and a seven. Yeah. And Kai is the 18th. So wow. the eight is in there, but eight isn't, you know. Oh, but yeah. it lands to nine. And yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I'm not a yeah. nine. Oh dang! Yeah. I'm not a nine. Oh, I try to I try to plug some. Ashley is. That's <laughs> but she. But Kaya was supposed to be born on one one. Mm-hmm. Wait, Kaya's the 18th. She's the 18th. So of that's December. a nine. Like it's Ashley, nine. her real mother. Yeah. Like Ashley, <laughs> she has her a Capricorn real, she, moon, right? She is a Capricorn rising. Rising, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. She's a Capricorn rising, but she was supposed to be born on one one. That Listen, was her original due date. My birthday is, is the 27th. Azar's is the 27th. Asia's birthday is the 21st. Amir's is the 12th. My dad's is the 23rd. Rebecca's was the 3rd. Like, I'm telling you, these mm-hmm. numbers repeat, Always. repeat, repeat. Yeah. Tata was born 11, 22, 21. Yeah. It, over and uh-huh. over and over again. I You cannot tell me no different. Yeah. And Chia's birthday is the 17th, but it equals 8. And now I'm just like... Why am I just putting together that both of our husbands, who happen to be very similar, have 
the seventeenth. Is it birthday? I, I don't even know, that. girl. We've discussed mm. this before. I forgot this. <laughs> okay, but now I really want to know. The real question is, Cody. Yes. What do you think? Because we know you don't think right. about this at all. I don't. I, I don't, but I do. You know what I mean? Like I don't uh-huh. reject it. But um, so overall, <laughs> I'm I'm on board with Lloyd. Okay. We're two different people. We are who we are, and then we are who we are as mothers. And that they part. They're not always Ooh. the same at all. A bar. Yeah. 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 So, so he that so he Kobe. lost me in the beginning. I was like, huh, but, glad everyone else what is if, feeling what it. What about the independent part about so going into I thought it was really interesting that he said maybe you wanted to be a lawyer or a doctor. That part was interesting, right? Which was so really interesting. At first I was like he was being independent between nineteen and twenty two. I mean, I was definitely in college. I definitely was completely out of state. I was far away from my family. And my mom's a doctor and my dad's a lawyer. The other way around. Other way around. My yeah. dad's a doctor, my mom's a lawyer. And so for sure, while I was I, I almost was a lawyer. I never wanted to be a doctor, but those are very reasonable directions for him. I'm processing, <laughs> processing Close. all this. Oh, shoot. You know what we're doing now? Oh. We're going to do like listener questions. Oh, yeah. I almost, yeah. I I almost forgot. These. And I'm so excited because y'all be sending us questions. Yay. And while we are not experts, we are four people with 11 children between us. I mean. And <laughs> opinions. So Let's okay. go. Felicia, <laughs> Felicia, lead us. I know. Okay. So here is one all about balance we love to see it okay so here we go hello mamas i appreciate your candor i had to ask ashley what that word means <laughs> and i have no problem admitting that on air I love okay you. um so your candor and sense of humor throughout each episode i'm married with two kids and one on the way oh. what i know about myself is that i try to do all the things all the time mm, sounds like us <laughs> i feel like i have i feel like i have say i feel like it, oh, sorry. I feel like if I say no to opportunities, both professional and personally, I'll miss out. Mm, I'm at a point where something has to give to protect my peace, but I don't know how to make that decision. Mm. If I step away from work, we're down to one income. And if I stay on the work grind, I miss out on the moments with my kids. Mm. Not because I'm not there, but I'm too tired to be in the moment. Mm. You ladies seem to have this figured out. Mm-mm, would love sis. your thoughts on how, <laughs> would love your thoughts on how to navigate the balance of having it all. Ooh. I don't know who lied to you, Michelle Jack. Obama, I feel yeah. like said it so good good is like you can have everything but just not all at once I said that before her I said that before her I said that I heard that on Jay Shetty and I was like Michelle I said that too you said did you steal that from our caption you know I put that on the internet (laughs) but I actually frankly and you know this I actually heard someone say that on this podcast I listened to called Boss Babe Okay. And she has three kids and she's a CEO of a company. And she said, you can have it all, but not at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I and I've that. been saying it ever since. And then Michelle took it from me and Ashley. But anyway, yeah, yeah. I have thoughts. She's but... a Capricorn. So I don't feel like she stole it. She just didn't know we exist. That's what I'm going to land on. Because we don't typically steal. <laughs> You're saying that ideas. Michelle Obama doesn't know we exist? I mean, she sure. knows I exist. But I don't feel right? like she stole our I have same, to come up on that That's timeline. my girl in same, my head. Same. <laughs> she wouldn't steal from me. <laughs> Um, all right no well, okay wait yeah. so melanie do you wait is that it is that all we're That's saying about it no i have i have something to say oh okay. say like how do it. we have it all at, how do she it, it looks as though we all have it all together okay well we don't so that's a lie yeah we totally don't watch. <laughs> oh yes it just came out uh-uh, focus four it's sorry, my sorry. birthday it might, one, my photos fours. on my watch they hey, um circulate hey, fours, focus, fours, and I, fours. one of them is from my birthday yeah. and it was us oh, oh, see okay. that's okay we have a video audience too okay go to youtube um, okay <laughs> but mine what i'm gonna say and T- tiffany our producer might kill me because it might create more conversation oh. and it's almost time for us to be done here okay but um because I had a little bit of a revelation recently. Oh, I love a revelation. And that is, well, my, my my biggest answer to sis is that you don't have to have it all figured out. I think we all are saying we don't have it all figured out. And Mm-mm. you just have to protect your peace at every step. And that might look different yesterday and today and tomorrow. Amen. But I had a revelation, which was whew, over the last seven plus years. And I always know the number because I was pregnant with Brooks when we licensed Black Love to Own. So I know that Black Love as a company, as a show is, you know, the same age as Brooks. Um, w- between the show and launching the company, Black Love, and so the the pieces of the company, BlackLove.com, um, multiple episodes of the show, events, a podcast network, etc. My revelation recently was that I did not say no enough. Mm. I had in my head, like, like there's so many things that we've done that A, I think we could have and should have done better. But I think for me personally and my mental health and my understanding of myself as a mother and a woman and a business person, I'm like showing up as way less percentage of each of those yeah. things mm-hmm. than I want to. 
because of times where I should have said no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And true. and again, it knew in the motherhood journey, like I literally had this baby and then Owen was like, great, we'll take the show. Please deliver it in three months or whatever it was. And when I look up at just everything from choosing to be editor in chief of blacklove.com yeah. at one point and, you know, just many things and like, and not just I should have said no, it wasn't like it was forced on me. Some of those things I was like, I can do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a mom. That doesn't stop me. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't mean that moms should be stopped. It just means that like I was trying to live up to an image of balance, right? Um, moms can do this. I can do that. I have these new kids coming, but I'll figure it out. I was trying to live up to that and some things that were pressure for me in terms yeah. of people wanting my time and my effort. And I I own now, sadly, seven years in, <laughs> that I should have said no a lot more. Mm-hmm. I and, feel that. And if Sad, my, I if my that. regret yeah. helps somebody, yeah. like, please let that. it help, sis. That's real. I was I reposted it in my stories. This lady was talking about how it's so funny how everything's rooted in racism, honestly. But she was talking about how this country and was built on the backs of free labor from black people. But they, ha- they're that black people are lazy is something that has been like propaganda. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. a, t- a lot of times black people don't realize that a lot of their drive and their work ethic comes from a subconscious need to prove that they're not the lazy black. Aww. And so I was like, All that is us, so real <laughs> because they're like, why do so- and, and you have to think about this also applies if you're an immigrant, right? Mm-hmm. If you come here, you want to prove that you belong mm-hmm. in this country and prove that you're not taking somebody else's spot. And I'm just as hardworking. And, so and people- prove that you left for a good reason. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like you have yes. all of this to prove this baggage. Yes. Yeah. Like, not just you being somewhere safe is enough, mm. but, like, now I got to be somewhere safer. And I just, yeah. you know, cross this ocean. And now I'm super, like, that's, yeah. like, enough is just the fact that you're existing, but we don't believe that. And so mm. we're always trying to prove mm-hmm. something to these imaginary people. And to yourself. Yes. And to yourself. Yeah, exactly. But where, where is that coming from? Yeah. Like, proving it to ourselves is rooted in. And and something that was made up that made us believe that we have to be all the things and be the mom and say Mm. yes and da-da-da-da. So to piggyback after Cody, like, I would just tell her. Mm. What was her name? I don't know. It it didn't say anonymous. I would just say to do the things that bring you joy in this moment. So if being with your children more and your family can afford it brings you more joy, then do that. Because they're only little but for so long. But also if you're like, I I prefer working and I'm going to get childcare and that brings you joy, then do that. Because literally it drives Melanie crazy when I say this, but we're all going to die and it's real though no we are it's real. And like you're, That's you my don't favorite know thing how long say. your life is and <laughs> mm-hmm. you really should do the things that that bring you joy because yeah. who's yeah. to say yeah. you know what i mean you want to feel like you were fulfilled and you did whatever it was so yeah don't feel bad if you mm-hmm. don't want to go to work girl don't go to work i my biggest prayer when i was becoming an entrepreneur and having children was god put me in a space where i'm able to be a present mom mm-hmm. and work mm-hmm. and so for myself, I have to have very clear boundaries. Okay. So if that means that I still have to work, like in her situation, right? Like if you can't work full time, maybe you can work part time yeah. so that there is some type of income coming yeah. in. Mm-hmm. Um, but then also spending time with my kids was important because like we said, they're only going to be this small for so long. Yeah. So that definitely was my like, and I'm content, every day I have to find balance. It's a everyday thing. Yeah. It's an yeah. every week thing. Some weeks I'm more flexible. Other weeks I'm like, <laughs> dang, I'm stressed. And I feel yeah. like I haven't had quality time, but I'm overall, I'm grateful for the space. And I'm like, and I also know that this is a life that I chose, yeah. you know? So That's real. I feel you girl. <laughs> what about you, Mel? Did you already say it? I didn't, but you guys covered a lot of it. I think the one thing that I would add is that this perception from the outside is always so different because there's people out there longing to have a family. Yeah. There's yeah. people out there who pray for it and don't have it. Mm-hmm. And all they do have at those jobs or they feel like they've missed their window for family because they invested so much time into their careers. And, you know, it sounds like this person has a, is in a space where they have both and they're just trying to find the balance. Yeah. And sometimes productivity looks like spending time with your children, Girl. right? Mm-hmm. And then sometimes it looks like I got to go on a work trip, yeah. right? But I think the most important thing from the perspective we stand in is that you cannot show up anywhere else if you are not whole within yourself. Mm-hmm. So I don't subscribe to necessarily um, self-sacrificing. Um, you know, any version of yourself to please anyone else. There's sacrifice within like parameters of, of motherhood and responsibility, but who you are as a person matters and your children need to see that and you need to be that. And you just have to find it 
every day, day by day. Cause that's it. Because yeah. just like Ashley said, like tomorrow is not promised. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you got to you gotta do what works for you today. Mm -hmm. That's real. I love it. Well, listeners, if you have any more questions, be sure to hit us up at podcast at blacklove.com. Podcast with an S. <laughs> and we will get to your questions. We will. We will. <laughs> oh, my God. We will. I, I you love guys are today. So I love today. I love today. Today was so great to be back in this space. Um, how do y'all feel about today's episode? Good. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I missed you guys. So. I missed you guys, This too. is my therapy, honey. Mm -hmm. I could not wait to get out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> With them kids. With them kids. Well, you know what's exciting? Yeah. Is our new set. Yes. We're back with new episodes. Yes. And for everybody listening... You can now watch the episodes, which is very exciting. We heard you. Mm -hmm. We received all the intention setting. We said it. Y'all said it. So we now have videos the day after a new episode launches. So we launch podcast episodes on Monday. And on Tuesday, you can watch the episodes on Black Love YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And um, every week. All right. So look out for these looks and these fashions. Yes. Okay. Because now we got to get dressed. Now right. we have Dang. to try. <laughs> now we have to um, try. But also follow us on the Mama's Den podcast you. on Instagram. You. Okay. And you can also DM us and stuff there because we will respond. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yay. And she said, yeah. 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 And I did. <laughs> <laughs>